Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Uh, we got new updates. I got all the models for you and the ensembles. Let y'all take the decision and make the choice for yourself. Uh, the new update for NOAA as of 2 p.m. Eastern went up to 70%. Satellite images and radar data does indicate that a broad area of low pressure located just west of Grand Cayman Island is gradually becoming better defined. Environmental conditions appear conducive for further de development and a tropical depression will likely form during the next day or two while the low drifts towards the northwest. And it most likely will be Tropical Depression 28. Uh, the system could move near western Cuba by Sunday and move slowly across the southeastern Gulf of Mexico by early next week. This is where we have issues. A lot of the models shows that it's going to be a Gulf problem, just like Noah's saying. And a lot of models are showing that it's going to be uh, east coast, uh, east Florida, east coast, and Bahama problem. So I'll go through that with you. Like I said, make you, let you make the decision yourself. Um, Interest in western Cuba, the Florida Keys, and southern Florida should monitor the progress of this disturbance. Regardless of development, locally heavy, heavy rainfall will be possible over portions of the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, southern Florida, the Florida Keys, and the northwestern Bahamas through the weekend. So make sure you all keep that on mind. Now this is the H-Wharf uh, model that I'm showing you about the Invest 95L. Now... H-Wharf is the only one that predicted the intensity of Delta, so I included it in there for you so we can look at all possibilities. Now, for this one, I got it on vorticity, so we can follow what the strength is for this storm, okay? And if you can see it on the right, I'll read it to you anyway. It tells you what the max is now. Like right now, it's at 29 knots, and this is on the 24th. Then as we go through for the 25th, it starts getting to 39 knots. So this is right around where you get in the Cayman, Cayman Islands, and it's just going to just be west of, of Jamaica. So Cayman Islands, it could be centering right over you, so just be aware of that. You could be getting right there, tropical storm conditions. Now you're at 41 knots. And then on the 26th, which is right there, it starts moving across Cuba, and it starts getting to 45 knots. So now you're talking over 50 miles an hour winds, and it's headed straight for the Bahamas with this. And then as it goes forward, you can see exactly where the system starts rolling, where it goes down, down to 25 knots. A big kick up in 30 at the end, but that was it on the on the, uh, the H wharf. Now you can see the growth of, of this storm. Ever since yesterday, if you just watch it down here on the, on the bottom right, you can see the growth in it and the potential. It did not weaken at all. It just grew and grew. And now we're getting bad storms on the front end of it. So it's about to get all the way around. Look at that. That is one strong system. And it's not weakening. It don't look like at all. Uh, this is it right here. It's showing that a, a pressure is right to the west of Jamaica. And you get in the yellow and black. And, and the whites is the lightning. But you can see these thunderstorms firing off all around this storm. Trying to create a center of uh, rotation. Which is, actually you can see it. Uh, if you look right here in the center, you can see some rotation and it's trying to create an eye wall. It's, it hasn't done it yet, but it is definitely trying. You can see the center try, definitely rotating around. Now, the Euro uh, Ensemble shows more towards the Gulf than it does show uh, going towards the Bahamas. And they're predicting that that would be more likely the result. Okay. Now, the GEFS shows that it's sporadic in the Gulf. And even the one that goes towards the Bahamas turns and changes mind and goes into the Gulf. Uh, the Euro shows that it goes up in the States, but the GEFS shows that it comes out on the East Coast as a tropical storm again and maybe even going up the coast. So we'll have to check on that and check all the models and see what's going on. This is the first five days of it. Okay, this is the Ensemble. This is the Euro. This is the GEFS. And then you have... Uh, the UK Met. The UK Met shows more golf activity, even a lot of activity on the tip of, of southern Florida, but it also shows more strengthening, and that gets all the way up to 70 knots with that orange, which would be a hurricane land, landfall somewhere around Tallahassee. So just keep that in mind. Here's the five day expectancy, expectancy from the UK Met. Uh, most likely is talking about maybe going into the uh, Gulf. And maybe strengthening to a 50 miles, uh, sorry, 50 knot uh, winds, 50 to 60, and maybe even be beginning with a hurricane from the very first five days. So we just got to wait and see which weather model is correct. But the only way you're going to know is if you go through all of them. So I brought you on tropical tidbits. 
I'm going to show you these all these models as they come through. We're going to see this one, the HMON, the ICON, and I'm going to show you the precipitation uh, amounts that you're going to be getting as well. Now, it's hard to see what you're looking at, but if you look, you'll see this Cayman Islands. This is to begin uh, the center of location, and this is on the 25th. Okay, time and date is on the top. Now, it starts going across Cuba, and it goes towards the Bahamas according to the H-Wharf. And if you watch it, you'll see that the pressure gets down to 997. That was the lowest so far. That's just a tropical storm, uh, Bahamas, just so you know. I mean, you still have some uh, potential flooding. You have severe th storms passing by. But then it curves back in towards the tip of Florida and rides the east coast all the way up. And then that's the last shot we got of the H-Wharf. Uh, if we go to the H-Mon, it shows a little bit uh, different information. But remember, the H-Wharf is the one that showed the intensity of Delta. And that's the only one that picked up so early on it. So the uh, H-Mon shows that it actually gets even more intense. It gets down to 990 before it goes over Cuba. But it stays at 995, 993 goes down to 989 and then goes to the tip of Florida at a 988 and that's that's on the edge of being a hurricane right there and then it rises the inside of the Gulf all over Florida the whole time now the icon model the icon model is the icon model is showing up a lot and the icon model is the one that picked up on it this morning uh, being uh, a possible hurricane going into the Gulf but as you watch it go through the cycle, you'll see it just sits there and builds up for a couple of days before it comes through. And it still heads towards the Gulf. And it's showing like it's going to be somewhere towards Louisiana and Alabama. Maybe even maybe even Texas uh, Panhandle. I mean, Florida Panhandle. Because Tallahassee does look like it is going to be a place to be thinking about possibility for the storm. And that's a 974 hurricane on landfall. And that's according to the ICON model. Now, if you look at this shot I got of the icon model, you can see a little bit better of what happens uh, with the storm and where it really tracks, as according to your county on there. Now, it gets down to 981, 75, 972, and it goes to a 974 before landfall, ripping a, a, tropical, a hurricane to a tropical storm all across the country, and then becomes a, a, a tropical storm again on the East Coast. So that's, that's, that really wouldn't be a, a good one to have. I hope that one isn't the one that actually predicts out. Now, the Euro model, this is where Euro is a little contradicting itself. Euro models are showing it's going to be towards a golf thing, but their rain accumulation for the next 5 to 10 days is showing that it's going to be across Cuba and eastern Miami, putting 4 inches of rain in Miami, putting 4 inches of rain towards Cayman Islands, over 3 inches in Jamaica. Uh, GFS uh, shows the same thing, almost five inches in, in Cayman Islands, and Cuba's getting four inches, but Miami's getting less, getting a little over two inches, and all the heaviness is going to be over here where it's showing it could be landfall. So Euro model, GFS rainfall is agreeing with Euro uh, models. And it's showing over four inches for Biloxi, four inches for H Hattiesburg. Going up to Birmingham, over four inches. Uh, but... The Euro model of rain accumulation don't meet up with its models as far as where the rain is going to be. See, it shows it's going out. The GFS shows the only one where it comes in actually to the Gulf. So they, they contradict each other. That's why I figure I'll tell you all the information. You can tell me for yourself which one do you think it is. And please leave your comments in, in, the, in the comment section because we all need to know <laughs> what, what are y'all seeing. I mean, this is all the information, but... It's hard to squeeze out what's what because one model says one thing and then when you go check rain accumulation, the same model contradicts its path that it talked about on the ensembles. Now, I, let me show you this real quick. This is the GFS I'm running on WSV3. It shows that it gets to about a tropical storm strength, tropical depression. Same place is showing uh, right there towards, let's see, let's get it pinpointed. Right there towards Panama City where it always <laughs> aims for it seems like uh, every time when we're tracking these things and then when it goes through let me show you everything and it goes through there's a big storm in the north northeast that kind of blows up because i don't know if them two low pressures that i showed you this morning i don't know if they become anything but it does have tropical storm uh, potential i don't know how soon it would form up off of land but it, it does have at least a potential to become a system all i would have to do is slow down Install a little bit, maybe a high pressure blockage. 
Now, as you go through, you'll see that there's a big wind field that comes shooting down in a few days. we got to check that out. I don't know if that's part of the cold front. It probably is. And it gets big, strong winds on the east coast of Florida. And they're about tropical storm strength almost. They're high 30, yeah, tropical depression 39, that's for sure. So I don't know what causes that. And hopefully there's no low pressure around that and it gets a little bit more spin to it. But it's still picking up our problem that we saw it. Uh, a few days ago is still showing trends that it makes it in the Caribbean and if <laughs> Who knows how many names we won't get through through all these low pressures that are that keep popping up It could be uh, Ida. It could be the one after Ida. Who knows? But it's still showing that it's still headed our way and it still has uh, potentials to be in a hurricane and potentially landfall so tell me what you think about that one as well. We have so much <laughs> going on it just feels like we're just getting attacked. So let me say to y'all, I'd love to read to y'all some Romans. I love Romans. Uh, if y'all if y'all like Romans as well, please let me know. God bless every single one of you, even those of you that, that leave at this part. No hard feelings. Sooner or later, you will stay and get that seed and it will grow. So God bless you, whatever you're going to do. Hope I see you again. Message from our Father. Romans 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, whereby whom also we have... Sorry, it's a small book. Where whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand, and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory... And tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is sheet abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet with, without strength, and in due time Christ died for the ungodly, for scarcely for, for a righteous man will, will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam and Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the, the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift, for if through the offense of one many be dead, much more the grace of God, and the gift of by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift, for the judgment was by one to com condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life. By Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
God bless all of you. I hope you all have a great evening. Please don't forget to let me know in the comments which model do you think is is looks a little more real because these these things are contradicting their own information. Most of all, please leave a like for me. I appreciate it. I love all you guys. Hope you all have a great day. All glory does go to God. Amen.